Welcome back friends. In this video, I am going to talk a little bit about uh, the pathophysiological responses by lipopolysaccharide of gram-negative bacteria. Now, I remind you that lipopolysaccharide is also called as endotoxin, right? Now, this is creating some toxic effects into human body, not only human, but different host body. And this is produced by gram-negative bacteria, the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria, the outer cell membrane. And when the bacteria dies, this particular toxin kind of released outside and this toxin is not actually secreted. It's an integral part of the cell membrane of gram-negative bacteria, but it can cause several rounds of effect in host body and majorly four different type of pathophysiological aspects. Let's talk. So first thing here is a fever. Now usually this kind of system of endotoxin can cause fever because this presence of LPS in our body, especially because LPS is made up with three components, a core polysaccharide region, then a lipid A and a O antigen region. Among these three parts, lipid A is the section of this endotoxin which is very much uh, dangerous for our body, very much toxic for our body. That means it was previously found that if we inject the whole LPS in a, in a, in a uh, individual, the response we see and if we put only LP, uh, lipid A, the response kind of same so that means that is the actual toxic part so here the fever means actually what happens this endotoxin is kind of elevated interleukin 1 so as they're elevating the concentration of interleukin 1 it finally uh, produces the prostaglandin increases the concentration of prostaglandin here and then it destabilizes hypothalamus and then it finally causes fever. So, in hypothalamus, uh, the temperature regulation is kind of imbalanced due to the uh, change in prostaglandin level due to the change in interleukin 1. So, this is from the beginning and ultimately it causes high fever. Now, the second thing here is hypoglycemia. Now, that is resulted because the presence of LPS in our body, it is forcing the cell to take up more and more glucose and whatever whatever glucose is present it actually helps to dig helps to metabolize glucose faster into uh, pyruvate via glycolysis so presence of lps increase the amount of glycolysis still uh, having that glucose concentration constant so what happens the total glucose content of our body kind of reduces and it's summed as hypoglycemia hypo means less glycemia okay so the glucose contents kind of falling down so sugar fall due to uh, increasing glycolysis that means less glucose will be there because they will be metabolized into pyruvate so that's the case third thing is the hypotension hypotension sets place because the pressure drop it takes place because vasodilatation occurs Right now, what happens actually in this process when the LPS is injected in our body, our body arterial and ventricular construction is going on all over our body. Right after that, there is a fall of right after that fall of pressure because there is a dilatation of our blood vessels. Right, so ventricular arterial construction followed by dilatation of our vascular uh, blood vessels. So, vasodilatation. As a result of this vasodilatation, pressure drops. Okay. Now the fourth thing is the disseminated intravascular coagulation. Now this thing results because the blood starts to clot in our blood vessel. Why? Though we are having a kind of vasodilatation, but still blood clot occurs due to some uh, less amount of factors that are present. For example, the platelet counts kind of falling and the fibrinogen count is kind of the fibrin split proteins kind of deleted and they are removed from the scene as the fibrin splitted proteins are released fibrin splitted proteins help the blood not to clot but the fibrin splitted proteins are released as a result blood start to clot there pretty easily so what happens here so there will be uh, internal intravascular blood clotting due to less amount of uh, say uh, platelets and because platelets are the blood clotting factors, right? So if there's less platelets and less amount of a, a deletion of fibrin split protein, 
it results in the blood clot. So these are the uh, clinical manifestations after the injection of LPS in body. But if only lipidase is injected instead of whole LPS, but still we are going to see the same kind of effects and it was found previously in uh, the rat and also in, in deer, in beer actually. Okay. So that's kind of it and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.